hello viewers you are most welcome back to this channel and if this is the first time you are visiting the channel is all about guiding prospective university applicants with relevant information with regards to university applications of your choice here in Ghana so please click on the subscribe button if you haven't done that and visit all the archive videos to better understand what the channel is all about so this particular video is a must watch because we all sometimes think deciding what to do with our lives starts right after university education which is so not true the most important decisions about your future is taken when you are done with your senior high school education such decisions could be like i want to attend vocational or technical training school i want to join the security services such as the ghana armed forces or the ghana immigration service or the ghana custom service i want to go to the nursing or midwifery training college i want to get into the music industry or i want to attend the university and many more and this particular stage of your life will determine whether you are going to enjoy success in what you become or not. People attend the university and are unable to complete their programs and even drop out of school all because they did not take the right decision after their senior high school education. So please sit tight and let's take a look at several points that can enable you make good decisions for your life's success. And we are going to take a look at discovering your purpose in life. Individuals that did or didn't attend university. Employment you can gain with your WASI results. Reasons why university education is important. As well as rushing with university education. Is university education beneficial? And this question is my biggest challenge to you viewers. But from my own point of view, I'm going to say yes and no, dependent on two key factors. That is knowing your purpose in life and your future aspirations. So you should be able to explore your interests in life and be certain of ways and means it can generate income for yourself in the future. And if you possess any skills or talents, for example, football, music, photography, modeling, hairdressing, cooking, once you are passionate about these skills or talents, you must turn it into something that is meaningful to you and don't let it go to waste. But there's another bigger challenge for some other people because they will not be able to find their purpose in life right after their senior high school education. And this can take them several years to know what exactly they want in life. But a little advice I can give such individuals is to surround themselves with positive people where you can acquire inspirations from and will help you make positive decisions. It is also good to read a lot about real lifetime stories of how people rose to the limelight and the bold decisions they had to make. For most of us too, after senior high school education, we will have the desire to explore our intellectual capacity by seeking a higher level education, thus taking a bold decision to attend the university. And all these decisions taken may have a positive or negative impact on our lives in the future. So imagine if Asamoah decided to attend the university and not pursue his football ambitions after Accra Academy. Do you think he will have enjoyed his success today? Some great people never attended university in order to be successful in life. And examples are former president of the Republic of Ghana, Jerry John Rollins, Ose Kwame Despite of the Despite Group of Companies, Nana Amamak Brown, as well as Dolores Frimpong Manso, also known as Dele, Christo Asafo Kantanka, Asamoajan Shatawale, D. Black, and the late Ebony. Some great people also attended the university and are equally successful in life. Examples are the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adudankwa Ikufuadu, the former President of the Republic of Ghana, John Dramani Mahama, Joyce Lynn Duma of the entertainment industry, Stoneboy the musician, Manifest, E.L. 
and Ochiame Kwame. All attended the university and are equally successful in life. We sometimes go to the university and have no interest in the program that we are studying. And a real life example is a distant relative of mine who had a passion for photography and had to make a bad decision to study biological sciences that is marine and fisheries option. He began to lose interest in the university education and give more time for his photography dropping out of the university and I can affirm to the fact that he's doing very well with his photography career with over 14,000 social media followers and has been on several TV shows and other TV commercials all because he decided to follow his passion that is photography and not university education we want to go to the university because all our mates are also going to the university and there is a saying that comparison is the thief of joy and because my mate or cousin or friend is in the university me too i have to attend the university at all costs our educational system in the junior and senior high schools also don't help us properly develop our career path and we can't fully blame the teachers in our upbringing but the educational system in general does not suit the junior high school and the senior high school in ways to help develop their nurtured talents and potentials not everyone that goes to the university is able to complete and graduate the university of ghana recently published amnesty and gave a second chance to those who completed the university but was unable to graduate since 2001 till date to come back and sit all the exams they failed in order to obtain their degree after all these years. You should also take note that university education requires a high level of discipline in order to complete your academic work. The academic workload at the university is very huge and involves lectures, exams, quizzes, seminars, entering assessments also known as IE project works assignments which all have given deadline as well as targets no one also checks you in the university as you enjoy total freedom you should also take note that no one will have the time to supervise your whereabouts whether you attend lectures or not and it's not their concern your behavior or attitude is also no one's business Professional Training Schools Aside the university, there are other technical and vocational training schools that helps develop your career path. They can decide to attend training schools such as the Ghana Textiles and Designs College at Mamobi, the La Vocational Technical Training Center, the Tema Industrial Vocational Technical Training, Vocational Training Institute at Takrade, the YMCA Technical Training Center, as well as the Mesh Aviation Flying School if you are interested in becoming a pilot. There are also lots of training colleges such as the Nursing, the Midwifery and the Teachers Training College. And these are for those who have the desire or the passion of becoming health professionals. You can attend training colleges like the Panther Nursing and Midwifery Training College the 37 Military Hospital Nurses Training College, the Agogo Nursing Training College, the Bogatanga Nursing Training College, and the Accra Training College, all with your WASI results. You can also use your WASI to apply for any of the security services such as the Ghana Armed Forces, which comprises of the Army, Navy, and the Air Force, the Ghana Immigration Service, the Ghana Police Service, the Ghana Fire Service, the Ghana Prison Service, the Ghana Ambulance Service, the Ghana Customs Service, Port and Harbor Securities, as well as the Forestry Commission if you want to become a Forest Security Officer, all with your WASI results.
you can also use your WASI results to apply and join any of the public services in Ghana, such as the ministries, the local government, manufacturing industries, processing companies, as well as non-governmental organizations. Let's also take a look at some of the advantages of university education. Let's not underwrite the benefits of university education. University education has lots of importance to us because it opens lots of doors both nationally and globally. And it also helps you to contribute by solving economic and societal day-to-day -day problems in the country. The university experience encourages you to think analyze, explore new ideas, ask questions, and be creative. You will also be expanding your skills and knowledge, grasping abstract theories and concepts, expressing your thoughts clearly in writing and speech, and increasing your understanding of your community and the world as a whole. You also gain exposure with the outside world, such as exchange programs, research projects and scholarships to other developed countries. Moving on with some of the advantages of university education, you have the ability to pursue a higher degree of learning such as your master's, philosophy of doctorates as well as gaining professorship. And you should also take note that the 21st century economy is different than 20 to 40 years ago. Today, the existing job market is made up of more architects, planners, designers, healthcare workers, information technology experts, video game developers, researchers, administrators, and so forth. Thus, with university education, you have the opportunity to seek speciality in any of these fields. Whether we like it or not, the job market system is now changing. A university degree holds a higher prestige than a WASI certificate, and many employers seem to appreciate those who have made the effort and graduated with a university degree. So obviously, if you want to work in an institution like the bank, it is required that you must have at least possessed a university degree. And it's not only the bank, so many institutions are now turning down WASI applicants for job entries. Institutions often employ university degree holders and provide them some sort of supervisory rules to lead their subordinates. And an example I can give is with the Ghana Armed Forces. Senior high school holders are recruited and given junior ranks like private soldier, lance corporal, corporal, sergeant, and warrant officers, whilst the university degree holders are recruited and given officer ranks like lieutenant, captain, major, colonel, brigadier general, as well as general, and are able to supervise and lead the junior rank soldiers. Promotion at work is now dependent on your educational upgrade even if you have more working experience. And this can be said in most of the government institutions nowadays that grant their employers steady leave in order to upgrade themselves with their education and can gain promotion. A university degree or a higher education trains you in your chosen field but it also teaches you to understand complex subjects, think analytically, and communicate your ideas effectively. You also learn important skills such as organization, self-discipline, and how to see a tax from start to finish. A higher education helps you become more professional and gives you many work-related skills. So this means that you should be able to think and come up with creative ideas to help solve problems that pertains in our society if you are able to obtain a higher level of education. 
taking a bold decision is going to be one of the biggest steps in your life and will such a decision create opportunities and allow you to grow once you are on the right path you can now think about how to ensure you stay on to achieve your desired goals this is not going to be an easy journey because there will be doubts at some point in time but always remember this quote from Stephen Pressfield. Most of us have two lives, the life we live and the unlived life within us. And always remember this point when taking such decision that life after Wasi is the beginning of your adulthood. Your career path should be centered on what you are passionate about and love doing. You can always come back to the university and further your education at any point in time. Know what you want to study at the university and the interested career prospects before you enroll. Plan your life and set targets for yourself right after WASI. And always put this at the back of your mind that the longer you wait, the longer it will take to get to where you want to go in life. So I'd like to thank you viewers for watching from the beginning to the end and I would like to urge you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that. Like this video, ask questions if you seek any form of clarity, share to friends and relatives who you think are applying this year to any university of their choices and also click on the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.